Okay, I felt this video had to be done. There's this road I always drive by. It's full of power lines. It's coming from the nuclear power plant of Turkey Point. So not only is Turkey Point dangerous, a nuclear power plant that's really old, the power lines that are running through South Dade to North Dade is pretty dangerous to drive on. Some of these lines are underneath US-1. Now these power lines are also running across 127th Avenue. Now there's a school that also runs parallel with these power lines. And I was driving on the right side of the road where the power lines are and my gas meter was going off the charts. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna be driving on the opposite side of those power lines and we're gonna see what is being picked up with the gas meter. So just bear with me, there's some traffic. As you see right now, I haven't even hit the power line section yet and I'm already going up where the danger level is to max. So basically those people that are waiting at that traffic light, we're, we're getting zapped, no doubt about it. We are getting zapped. See, it's going way beyond. I'm on the opposite side of those power lines. I've been driving down this road, let's say for the past three and a half years going to work. So probably after today, I mean, I just got this. I, I didn't realize it was that bad because I actually had somebody, they left a bad review about this because they say it wasn't picking up power lines, but as you can see, I, I am getting the power lines. So <clears throat> these power lines are doubled out and they go down to Turkey Point. So. There's a good reason why houses shouldn't be anywhere near power lines. And there shouldn't be any roads near these power lines as well. This is it's putting drivers at risk for getting cancer. Those birds up there are getting fried. As you can see, the whole time it's beeping. There is no silence. There is no soft spot in this. It's, it's a constant bombardment. I'm, I'm to the very right of this power line, as far as I can go on the road. And it's not stopping. I'm sorry, it's really annoying, I'm sure, the beeping, but it's just to let you know how serious this is. Now there's a school up here on the right side. And really, if I was a parent and I knew that my kid was walking anywhere near these power lines, and after seeing this video, I would have my kid transferred. ASAP. I've discovered this with a lot of different things with touch screens. I used to think, yeah, touch screens are cool. And as you can see right here, I'll get these same type of readouts with uh, touch screens. So even your phone. You're gonna see your phone, you're gonna get readouts like this when you get phone calls or when you call out. That's when the signal's going out and that's when you could get this type of EMF. I'm probably gonna need a new battery after this, but hey, it's well worth it. I just, just to show you guys that if you have a GPS or something, you probably wanna program it to not be anywhere around this type of situation. Reroute, definitely. This is the last time I'm going to be driving on this road. Because obviously, they're not giving enough feet in the protection zone. They've actually discovered that you have a higher risk of leukemia when you live near a power line. And I've actually seen off these power lines, they'll have bus stops right underneath these wires. Those people are getting zapped. 
as you can see there's a spool up there so these kids are getting zapped no doubt about it probably even on that sidewalk it's going to be above the safe zone I'm going to be making a ride up here now so you're going to see it go down really shortly So my meter doesn't even go that high. It's really hard to guesstimate where it would be. Perhaps eight. The max is five for my meter. The beeping gives you some indicator, but it's definitely higher than where it should be. Now, if I was on the outside of this road, oof, it would be a lot worse even. So we're gonna be making that right turn now. You're gonna see how far you have to be away from these power lines. It's starting to drop there where right normal so now you know that how far you have to be really for those power lines you have to be quite far away it's pretty much a normal now so i'm gonna call it this video and please leave your comments at the bottom like subscribe thank you and take care